Hello everybody, this is Kyanda the Smart Home and my name is Ali Reza. This tutorial is about monitoring temperature and humidity of your environment in Home Assistant with ESP development boards. In this video, I use the HT22 humidity and temperature sensor, which is a digital sensor with 16-bit resolution and accuracy of 0.5 degree and 1% in humidity. DHT22 is successor of DHT11 with higher range and more accuracy. This item can be purchased as sensor or module. Both act the same. The sensor has four pins, but only three pins will be used. On the other hand, the module has only three pins. The only difference between the sensor and the module is that the module has built-in filtering capacitor and pull-up resistor. For the sensor, which is this, you have to use them externally if required. Also, the HT22 is factory calibrated. Okay, in this video, I use ESP Home to program our development board and use it. I have connected my development board ESP32 to a breadboard. Then I will use a USB cable with the ability to transfer data to program it. I'm running my home assistant using a Raspberry Pi. So in order to program this board, I connect this board to one of the ports of my Raspberry. Before continuing the video, please click the subscribe button if you haven't done already, as it motivates me to upload more videos. Stay tuned. After connecting your ESP development board to Home Assistant with USB cable, in Home Assistant on the left panel, click on configuration, select add-ons, backups and supervisor. You must have ESP Home add-on installed. If not, at the bottom of the screen, click on add-on store, find ESP Home, select it. Here you must see install icon. Click on it and wait till installation completes, then start the integration. After that, click open web UI. In this page, tap on new device, Continue, set a name for your device. Then click on next. Select the type of device that this configuration will be installed on. I select pick a specific board. From the drop down list, I select my board. Then click on next. Click on install. How do you want to install this on your device? I select this one, plug into the computer running ESP Home dashboard for devices connected via USB to the server. As I have connected the board to Home Assistant running on Raspberry Pi. It detected the device, select it. Wait till installation completes. It may take several minutes. Installation is completed. I click on stop. After in installing, navigate to configurations, backups, supervisors, and add-ons, then select ESP Home. In this page, you will see your ESP development board. By clicking on edit, you can edit your board. ESP development board has Wi-Fi. You can connect your ESP development board using its Wi-Fi to your network. For doing so in this page in Wi-Fi section, 
in front of SSID, enter the name of your Wi-Fi network. Then in front of password, enter the password of your Wi-Fi network. After entering credentials of your Wi-Fi network, it's better to assign a static IP address to your ESP development board. For doing so, in Wi-Fi section, in the YAML file, below the password, paste these codes. You can find the codes in description and change the IPs based on your network settings. Be careful about the pasting lines or let's say codes. Do not face any error. It's time to paste lines related to measuring and monitoring temperature and humidity of environment using codes related to DHT22 sensor. In the YAM file, at the bottom of the file, below captive portal paste these codes you can find the codes in description sensor platform is dht i use pin number 33 in this video you should choose pins with the ability to read inputs digital inputs in temperature section, you can set a name for your temperature sensor, whatever you like. In humidity section, you can set a name for your humidity sensor, whatever you like. Also, you can define IDs for your temperature and humidity sensor for using in lambdas. Update interval, by default it is set to 60 seconds, you can increase or decrease it. If you do not add this line, update interval will be set to default, which as I said is 60 seconds. Another item that can be added to the lines is model. By these lines, uh, you can use DHT11, DHT22, DHT22 type 2, AM2302, RHT03, SI7021 sensors. By default, the mode is set to auto detect, but you can set to the sensor you are using. For example, DHT22. I prefer to use it as default and not set it. After adding the lines related to the DHT22 sensor, it's time to install the edited YAML file to development board. I click on install. As Development board is connected to my home assistant via USB. I select plug into the computer running ESP home dashboard. If your ESP development board is connected to your Wi-Fi network, you can select wirelessly. We receive an error. Line 43, column 7 and line 44. Let's see what's wrong. And a space is needed here. Again, I click on in the stop. Wait till installation completes. It may take several minutes. Installation is completed. I click on stop. 
Before continuing the video, it must be mentioned that while creating new device in ESP Home add-on, after setting the name of your development board, Home Assistant may ask for Wi-Fi credentials of your network. You can add the name of your Wi-Fi network and its password in that popped up window. Let's connect the HT22 to development board. In order to connecting it, this pin is ground, must be connected to the ground of development board. This pin is useless. This pin is the data, must be connected to the input pin of development board. And this pin is the power of sensor. I will connect it to 3.3 volt DC from the ESP development board. In order to use this device, we need a resistor 4.7K ohm is OK. We must connect the resistor between this pin and this pin. OK, this is 3 volt pin. This is ground. And this is data. Let's connect data to the resistor and from resistor to development board, pin number 33. Wiring is completed. As you see, Home Assistant is showing us the ESP32. Our development board is offline. Let's connect the board to power, or let's say connect the power to the board. After a few seconds, Home Assistant will show us the board is online. As the connection will be established via Wi-Fi. You see that. Okay, navigate to configuration in Home Assistant, select devices and services. You see Home Assistant has detected the integration ESP Home. If not, by clicking on add integration at the bottom of the screen, searching ESP Home and selecting it, you can add the integration. As Home Assistant has detected, I click on configure to configure the ESP Home integration. Do you want to add the ESP Home node ESP32 to Home Assistant? Click submit, meaning yes. You can set a room for it. I click on finish. The integration is configured. While adding integration manually, by searching ESP Home and selecting it. Here it asks the host name. Please enter connection settings of your ESP Home node. Here Home Assistant needs the IP address of your development board. In this section you have to enter the IP address of your development board. In this video mine is this. Then click on submit. Let's skip it. OK, I click on ESP32, ESP Home Integration, as it has one device, two entities. We have humidity sensor and temperature sensor. You can add these sensors to your dashboard by navigating to Overview, clicking on three dots at the top right corner of the screen, selecting Edit Dashboard, then clicking on Add Card. I select Entities. Remove the pre-chosen ones, then add humidity and temperature sensor. Done. That's it. 
Thank you for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe my channel if you haven't done already. You can support me by buying me a coffee. I'll see you in the next video.